The Nutcracker and the Four Realms is directed by Lars Hallstrom and Joe Johnson with double director credit and it stars Mackenzie Foy, Morgan Freeman, Kira Knightley and Ellen Mirren, among others. It tells the story of Clara, a young girl who gets transported into a magical world and all she wants is a key, a one-of-a-kind key that will unlock a box that holds the priceless gift of her late mother. I went into this film with no expectations. I don't know much about the original Nutcracker story. I didn't watch any of the trailers besides the teaser that came out like a year ago. I know enough about the story, the original one, that I can pinpoint the changes on the bigger elements of the story. But unfortunately, nothing of it really works. I'll tell you first and foremost that Mackenzie Foy in this film is surprisingly really charming. She hangs on that line between gullible and determined, and she really brings out the little nuances there are on her character. I would actually say that she's the only nuanced character in this film. And Kira Knightley is actually doing something here. She's actually trying and kind of accomplishing what she set out to do. Yes, it is over the top. Yes, it is absolutely ridiculous. Yes, every single line of dialogue that comes out of her mouth features a double entendre that is very much a sexual innuendo. And if you are an adult, you will laugh at every single word coming out of her mouth. But it works for her character, especially when she takes out a piece of her hair and eats it like cotton candy. There's a lot of good production design, costume design. The cinematography does look great. There are shots in this film that are beautiful. Yes, filled with CGI, but when the CGI is done well, it really works and benefits the film. The CGI, however, is not good throughout the whole film. There are moments where you just look at the screen and you want to take your eyes away because it hurts how badly done they are. Now, Ellen Mirren, who we all love and we all want to see more, she isn't doing anything here. It takes so long for her to show up. And whenever she does show up, she isn't giving anything special to do. You could have anyone play her part. You could have Kira Knightley play Ellen Mirren's part, and that is saying something. And you can tell that two people directed this film because the film is so differently paced, is so differently delivered as it goes on. And even the script, the film starts with some details visually that then it completely changes. I'll just say this, if you know the original Nutcracker story, it doesn't make sense for the mice in this film to look as cute as they do. And it doesn't even make sense for this film to be called The Nutcracker, let's face it. The Nutcracker in this film is a tertiary character, if that. I'm being generous. I don't even consider him a tertiary character. And is this a film with good messages? Yes, it is. But what it completely lacks is the ability to deliver those messages well. The execution is very choppy, is very botchy, nothing is really effective, and when the film has a scene that wants to go for a message, and what is ultimately the message of this film, it completely rubs it in your face non-stop. It becomes annoying. As I said, you have Dame Ellen Mirren in this film. You have Matthew McFadyen, who's an absolute star and should get more roles in more films, but he's here doing nothing. I would rather he was the main character. In fact, I would say that we could have characters in the magical world that resembled and were played by the same actors that Clara knows in in the real world, yes, that has been done time and time again, especially, most notably, in The Wizard of Oz, but at least it has effect in the story, it affects our character and the choices he makes. And the lessons Clara learns in this film, does she learn lessons? Yes. Do we see any moment where she has realizations and learns how to do things differently? No. From one scene to the next, she just knows how to do stuff and really fixes problems like that. It's a journey in a film that doesn't feel hard to us on our characters, it feels very easy, it feels like they had a script that they were following throughout this adventure, it doesn't feel like it has the magnitude that it should. What the characters should feel and how they should feel throughout this adventure, we don't feel that because there is no scenes to share that impact with them. We don't go with them, we just see them going on a journey. We never get engrossed on this story. I think The Nutcracker had a lot of really good ideas, but the execution all around, either from one director or the next, and even from the screenplay, they just didn't come together, they just didn't combine and they helped this film feel very blocky and by the numbers by the end. I was really disappointed despite having no expectations and unfortunately I'm going to give The Nutcracker and The Four Realms a D+.
Guys, what did you think of the Nutcracker and the Four Realms? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what is your least favorite live-action Disney film. I'm still waiting to be done with my Harry Potter collab reviews, and I promise you I will be done with those before Fantastic Beasts, even if I upload it on the same day that I upload my review for Fantastic Beasts The Crowns of Grindelwald. Thank you so much for watching. I have many other reviews. I still will review that devil, no matter how late I am. Thank you so much. I hope to see you there. So until the next review, you stay beautiful, you stay geeky, and if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button and click the bell so it can be geeky united.